four days out. Getting ready to uh, fly out this afternoon. Chicago, spending a few days by myself out there. Kind of chill, throw my birthday gift. Yesterday was my birthday. Um, so right now I'm just doing uh, the little circuits. Mostly gluten hams and abs this morning. Uh, body's pretty sore. I'm gonna go upstairs right now, take my photos, assess my physique, plan out my diet for the rest of the day. Uh, I woke up really light today. I'll talk about that in a little bit once I see myself. But uh, yeah, so the plan is just figure out what I gotta do for food today. And uh, I'm gonna train chest and shoulders, do a little cardio, depending on how I look. And then uh, I'm gonna take you guys home and I'm gonna show you how I pack for, uh, for shows, for traveling, all my food and condiments and everything. I'm crazy, but I'll show you how I do it. It's pretty efficient to make your life easier. So uh, let's get rolling. Alright, so just uh, reviewing photos and everything from yesterday uh, to this morning, my weight. Uh, yesterday, after I took photos, I was kind of pissed at myself that I didn't do a refeed on Sunday. Um, I woke up uh, like a pound or so light, lighter Monday morning, and I didn't want to do a refeed yesterday. Um, I kind of wanted to start the depletion process so I can fill up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday a little slower. So. Uh, I dropped my carbs a little bit than my normal baseline diet had been and this morning I wake up uh, Drop almost four pounds from yesterday. So now I'm in a hole and I don't want to eat today Because that's gonna I, don't know, I just feel like it's gonna create a an imbalance of the gradient. I need in order to carb up properly um, so I'll probably I'm added a little more food today uh, mainly like post-workout I don't want to eat a bunch of carbs on flying. Uh, you don't mind taking like 50 grams per meal, but anything more than that, uh, just carry too much water. Um, so, so I look when I get to uh, Chicago, I'm gonna get off the plane, get to the hotel, and I'll do like 30 minutes of cardio. But uh, I'm the lightest I've been today, and that's uh, good and bad. So I just gotta hope things don't crash too hard. Today. I can what I can do is I can add a little more fats to kind of slow things down today which I'll probably do pick up some guacamole and fill it in with my beef and uh, maybe do some almond butter tonight so that way things slow down a little bit and see what tomorrow brings so that's uh that's how I take photos that's how clients should do it um, you know you either do a self timer or I find videoing yourself the best you just go through you screenshot the photos that you want Send them over, you don't worry about that you're not in the right position or anything like that. Um, but don't do fucking selfies in a mirror. Come on. Like how the fuck do you expect a coach to assess your physique when you're doing a fucking selfie in a mirror? You know, I can't even see your fucking legs. Um, so we're gonna hit some chest, shoulders, and then uh, like I said, I'm gonna take you guys to my house and show you a little bit of my packing process. And then I'm flying first class, motherfucker, Chicago. It's my own birthday gift to myself. So. Get it. Get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes I scare <laughs> myself, myself. Get menacing, frightening, find help. Sometimes my peak week, I don't, I don't, I back off volume. Um, I don't go to full failure, but I still keep intensity up and I keep weight pretty high. Um, so yesterday was a back day. Uh, we trained hard, and uh, today's chest, a little bit shoulders, and then tomorrow I'll hit arms pretty hard, and then Thursday is just kind of an upper body depletion. So it's stopping kind of just short of failure. Uh, two working sets per body part, just uh, kind of get some blood flow and prime the muscles for glycogen upload.
So yesterday I turned the big 3-5. And uh, I gotta say, when I was a kid growing up, like mid-30s is just such a fucking dirty, ugly age. You know, I come from, you know, blue collar town. Um, you know, no one really takes care of themselves, no one trains, he really eats right, skin care, things like that. So, you know, they're usually married with kids and trapped in dead end jobs. So 35 just kind of seemed like the end of life almost. They really look weathered and haggard and whatever. So getting older always kind of scared me. And uh, I was a little nervous about, you know, 30 was, I didn't even want to celebrate it. I was just sick to my stomach, whole week going into it. Uh, but, you know, I can honestly say at 35, I look my best, you know, face-wise, skin-wise, physique-wise, and my future is as bright as can be, you know, there's unlimited possibilities for me to grow, um, so much potential out there, so it, it's definitely changed my stigma of what it's like to get older, you know, and I think that's a little to do with your environment and your outlook on life. Because uh, I can honestly say that I'm getting better the older I get. I know eventually it's going to turn around, but uh, for right now, I'm going to ride the bitch till the wheels fall off and just keep riding this train of getting better and better like wine. Just going through all my photos and everything, and I got my diet set for the day. Um, I'm going to go up uh, about 25 grams of carbs from yesterday, but my fats are gonna go up by about another 30 grams. Um, and the way I'm gonna do that, I'm actually not even gonna add any guac or any type of healthy fats, I guess, per se. Uh, so there's two types of rice cakes that I eat. There's the white cheddar ones, and each one of those have one gram of fat in it. Then there's the tomato basil ones, and those have two grams of fat in it. I've been staying away from tomato basil ones for the past few days, and uh, my weight's dropped pretty quick, so I'm actually gonna stop the store and grab the tomato basil ones. I'm going to introduce those, so for every rice cake that I have, which I'm going to have 30 rice cakes today, that's an extra gram of fat. So I'm adding about 30 grams of fat. So that's how I'm going to do that, and uh, see what happens tomorrow. Um, Cardio-wise, I probably didn't need to do it, um, but I'm a creature of habit. You know, I just think keeping blood flow and digestion is, is an important thing, especially this last week. So that's why I'm on the bike, I'm not really exerting myself too much. Uh, let my legs heal up, just kind of burn some calories, put it on my phone. And I'm one of those people I'd rather eat up and eat into my activity level than drop my activity level to meet my caloric intake. So um, that's it, 20 minutes, done. Go to the grocery store, grab a couple things, and now uh, we're gonna go to my place. So I just threw uh, one serving of Natural Calm in here. It's a magnesium product, uh, it helps kind of calm your digestive system a little bit, helps keep you regular. It's really important last week of prep. Uh, and then I have a half a scoop of Fiber Plus from Anabolic Design. Try to give myself a little extra fiber, plus it's got some probiotics in it. So we want to keep the digestive system nice and flowing and healthy. I'm going to drink this, and I'm going to wait about 10 minutes. Then I have uh, a shake that has uh, one scoop of Graze, which is our um, Super Greens and BCA product from uh, Anabolic Design and one tablespoon of white chia seed flour, which is an excellent fiber source. And you also get some omega-3s from that. So drink this, stretch for a second, drink that, wait about 30 minutes, and then eat my first meal. dish soap. So, even though I'm flying to a big city that has everything probably at my disposal, I fly with pretty much everything I need because I just don't trust getting someplace and not having what I fucking need. So. I go to the stores that I know what I have here. I know that I've used all prep, so everything's continuous. I usually end up having to pay for a heavy bag because my when I go there, my bag's loaded up with food and condiments and everything as you'll see. But uh, it gives me peace of mind knowing that what I need is actually there because I've done that before and can't find what I need and it puts me in a pissed off fucking mood. They carry white cheddar here too. 
So anyway, these are the two rice cakes that I live off, basically. Uh, these have one gram of fat per cake. These have two. So I have a bunch of white cheddar ones at home. I'm gonna bring three sleeves with me because I know there's a Target there and I know Target carries these. Uh, and then when I want something sweet, I do these. Um, they're low in sugar. Uh, fat contents, two grams per serving, so similar to uh, these rice cakes. And don't be a lazy prick. Return your fucking cart. Usually when you're going somewhere for a competition, any local grocery store is gonna run out of rice cakes, asparagus, almond butter, and apparently white rice. So, I grilled up, it's like 15 pounds of tilapia, and then I cooled it, and then I vacuum sealed it into little, little packets. This is all tilapia. What he's gonna use for his show. And then this is beef packets. Gas X, because I'm gassy sometimes. Some cold medication, some band aids in case something happens, some regular digestive enzymes, uh, a whole allotment of pills, all things I've been prescribed over the years. I just keep a couple in here because you never know um, what's needed. Um, some shreddable from AD, you never know we need some energy, ibuprofen. Matador from AD for the carbs. Ravenous from AD for digestion. And this is um, Zantac and some Tums in case I get harbored. So it's like my little survival kit. <clears throat> I'm just gonna refill all these and make sure everything's nice and plump so I have what I need. Some pills to help you poop. And when I wake up in the middle of the night to go pee, I take two of these with my other stack of pills that I take, um, just in case I'm in a bind, but I really try not to use these, um, a little bit of stimulant laxative, you really don't want to use laxatives, um, A, they, you know, they dehydrate you, they can flatten you out easy, um, uh, they can also cause your, uh, your intestines to kind of be inflamed and and then that can actually cause more gas and more bloating. Um, but I do have a little bit of a history of uh, constipation, so worst case scenario, I'll have to take them, but um, what I try to do first is I'll use just a, a suppository, and that only works on the lower colon, doesn't really affect uh, much of the rest of the digestive system, so it's a lot safer option. But uh, this is absolute worst case scenario, come Friday night and I haven't fucking pooped yet in like two days three days on the show Saturday and I gotta evacuate so that's what that's for. In here I have all my pills for every single day. My man purse. So I always keep in here at least a pen, a fork, a spoon, my pill case. And in here I usually got lotion. Some toothbrush stuff, chapstick, some toothpicks, different types of gum. I got headphones in here and uh, quarters. So it's a little mini survival kit. Like I said I already diced up cucumber. I'm eating those at every meal. Today's and tomorrow's meals. So my food. Tilapia, grilled, vacuum sealed. I needed like 5.2 pounds to get me through Monday. Um, there's 5.5 pounds. Um, I'm gonna leave myself a little extra just in case things change, but uh, I'm usually pretty spot on with it. I got the beef here. Uh, 
little bit of asparagus. Cucumber, you don't want it to get super cold, so I'll be good in there. See that ruin your batteries, put them backwards. Almond butter, two of these honey mustards. Ponzu, hot sauce, this teriyaki sauce, uh, I think garlic salt, I think sea salt, and that's it for condiments. I'll bring paper towels with me. Um, I bring Febreze spray because I like my place to smell good. I already saw about some dish soap. I'm staying at a place in the kitchen. Um, they have laundry too, and I'll probably do at least two loads of laundry. Uh, this allows me to pack less, so I only need to bring like one set of workout clothes, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I fly out with, I can fly back with. Um, so I'll bring some stuff to do laundry. That's so not to pay like two bucks for the pods at the hotel. I'm just gonna bring a whole sleeve with me on the flight. I need uh, 12 rice cakes and there's 14 in here. So bring the sleeve with me. These will get packed and uh, I'll buy some more when I get out there. And that's it. That's how I fly with my food. Uh, clothes is self explanatory. If you can't pack clothes for a show, you're an idiot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, have my wife shave my back and uh, finish folding my laundry. Packing my bag, and I gotta leave here in uh, four hours. So, for the first time ever, I've actually given myself some leeway to chill before I take off. Usually, my dumb ass will be like, Oh, I'm gonna do fasted this morning, and then I'm gonna go back and train and try to turn around and pack and be on a flight in an hour and a half. So, uh, I feel a lot stressed, which is good. I need that. So, feel good. Let's see how the show goes. So, I can just ride this plane in.